Hello everyone, and welcome back to I am currently injured, but still gonna try to stop some biscuits today. I don't know how I got injured, but all I know is that in the last video I was simulating a game, and then I sort of noticed, I was like, wait a minute, Pavel was in net for the end of that, and it's not like I was getting lit up so bad that I would get pulled. And uh, it turns out that I was in fact injured, so it wasn't a bad injury, clearly, because I'm back already, even though it says lineup status injured. We are in for the game against the Jets, and we have a challenge to win our first game back from injury. So let's hope we can do all of that against the 12th placed Winnipeg Jets. And I guess we could check out the lines real quick. Just show you guys if there's anything that's changed. We had a trade deadline, and I believe no pickups were acquired. But yeah, this is our team. We do look pretty solid overall. I mean, we have McDavid and Dryside. I'll tell you, you can really ask for in a team. Defensively, here you go. Okay, we're not so bad back there either. And in net, we got TJ with an X-Factor, but injured, apparently. And then we have uh, Francis at 84. So, let us see if we hopefully jump into this game and aren't getting lit up. Please. Here we go. First period. Yeah, okay. Second period. We... We might be able to make a comeback here. You know what? It's possible. We're going in. We're down by two. It doesn't look good, but I believe in the boys. We've gotten... I feel like we've gotten a lot of goals in third periods before, so... You know what? This is definitely possible, and I could see us pulling this off for sure. That was almost a goal already. We almost caught one right off the hop. That would have been nice, but... I do enjoy the way the lads are playing so far, even though we've gotten a very small sample size. Malkin is apparently on the Jets. Which is interesting. And he's in over the line, but... Pool Party will be there to shut him down. Oh, I don't know who that was, but you just got rocked. That was a big hit. McDavid, he was able to walk out there and he just basically stopped. Okay, well, there's a broken twig for a Jets defenseman. Look at the pressure the lads are putting up right now. This is surreal. Well, you're with a shot. McDavid gets another one on the doorstep there. Alright, lads, here we go. Poligoski goes in front. Nice try. Hellebuck will be there for that one. Nice save, Bucky. That was a good save. I am officially Duncan Keith, according to the bottom left of your screen. If you want to just direct your attention there real quick. Uh, but anyway, Tyson Berry with a great pass. Look at us go, man. How have we not scored yet? That's the real question. Great passing. Yeah, I like it. Ooh. Okay, it's good. It's good. What a goal. That shot looked... Okay, I need to see a replay, because he, he, like, do some weird bendy stuff. I don't know. Either way, we are playing phenomenal right now. And I am happy I jumped into this one, because of the way the boys are playing. <laughs> it just shows Drysidle getting dropped. And then he ends up getting it back, making a pass, and I still didn't get a good... Nope, that's not going to cut it. No thank you. Instant replay. What did Yamamoto do? Was it just a backhand, or, like, what? Um, yeah, like, okay, <laughs> that is some next-level bullcrap right there. If that happened to me, I'd be fuming. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that shouldn't be a goal, but whatever, I'll take it. Pavelski in the middle to Shifley, who goes back to Morrissey. That is a high shot. Okay, don't hug the post. Stay off the post and don't come out too far. Those are my two objectives. Pavelski with a shot, almost gets through. And the defense will be there battling for that one, but Kyle Connor ends up getting possession. Yamamoto behind the net. Oh, he coughed it up. Nice job. I don't know what that pass was from their guy, but Letty was there, and he grabbed it. Okay, so we're only five minutes into this third period so far, which means we're a quarter way through. Quick mass. And we have cut the lead down to one, and we've been playing phenomenal. So I like our chances in this one. Things are looking pretty promising if we can keep this up. We just got to... Carry on at the pace wrong. We don't got to turn it up anymore. Just keep going the way we're going. Let's go. Let us absolutely proceed. Dano. Philippe. Going to get... Was it a pass or was it just kind of bounce? I think it was a pass. Sort of like a handoff pass. But anyway. <laughs> their player tried to join the celebration. Not today. Wrong team, buddy. Yeah, that was a pass. And he just ripped one. Hellebuck getting beaten. Low blocker there. And we <laughs> look at the celebration too. He's like kind of fighting him during the celebration. But yeah, we have ourselves... A tie hockey game with 14 to go. The lads are here to play. They want to win. And I'm gassed because so do I. Okay, let's change the camera. Just do all the things right. You know, check all the boxes. 
Get the safe pass to Ennis, who gets drilled. But I also just drew a penalty for us, lad. So, you know what? It was a sacrifice for the greater good. <laughs> All right, will it get to me or will I get beat out? I will, in fact, get possession of the puck. Nice pass, Barry. A little bit risky, but it's okay, you know? Our uh, ability to take risk is pretty good for this third period because we are, you know, playing well. I think even if they did score, we'll get another one. So I'm not too worried about it. And down it comes again. Free team play. Don't mind if I do. Pass that over to you. Yeah, that was a... Oh, I got caught on the net. Good thing they didn't lose the puck. That definitely could have ended up devastating, but... No, we have... Come on, I pass it over. I think McDavid and Dreisaitl were there. Are you joking? There's no way they're losing that. All right, face off in their zone. We haven't really got a whole lot going yet on this power play. How much time's even left? 38 seconds. All right, so we have one final chance here, I would say. But, yeah, the first minute 20 haven't been full of opportunities. That was probably our closest one yet. Uh, it's probably not going to bounce to me. I don't want to take a penalty for delay game. So, stay away from that thing. Alright, nice breakout. McDusty's in. Tries to pass in the middle. Oh, it almost worked. I like the effort. Power play is done, though. Let's... Whoa! Okay. I would like to have an instant replay because I believe it's over the line. That looks like it's over the line to me, referee. Hold on. I need to see this. What a leap, though, from Hellebuck. That was wild. Okay. Instant replay again. So, he... Takes a shot, goes off their guy. This is like going in the net. And Hellebuck's like, whoa, 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 wait a second. I'm going to die for that. No way, dude. That's in! That's literally in. That's a goal. We're in the lead. We're actually in the lead, boys. We've done it. We've done it. That's across the line. I do not care what you say. 100% across the line. All right, boys, it's 3-2. I guarantee you if I did that, they would count it as like two goals. For some reason. Like, it's just <laughs> unbelievable, man. That was so clearly across the line. I want a coach's challenge. McDavid, nice pass. Okay, boys, we are playing surreal right now. Like, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let you do your thing. Because your thing is working. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of here! That is... Uh, uh. Why? We gave a, a D to D pass that just gave him a clear cut breakaway. And then the flying poke check results in me essentially... <laughs> like he gabricked. He literally gabricked into the net. He scored the puck and he scored himself. That is just... I, I'm done. I'm actually done. Let's go! We got it right back. Wow, that was pretty much instantaneous. A nice shot down low. The rebound is picked up. I don't know, but that one, like, I, did you guys see that? Or is it just me? Because there was one fan that was, like, glitching out hardcore. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know. That was just odd. But anyway, the rebound goal. Hellebuck actually almost had it. Tremendous effort from that lad, but not tremendous enough. Tie game again. Do it. Ooh, okay. All right. He had a clear path to walk in there and decided to take uh, whatever you want to call that. But I respect it. The way you guys are playing, I don't care. I'm not going to say anything. Just keep doing it, you know? Maybe there was some big master plan behind that that I don't know about. Like this! Oh, if they actually did it, that would have been wild. All right. Gostas Bear with it. Up to Wheeler. And he is in. There's a guy in the middle, which I'm kind of trying to watch. I made the save. Made another save. Perfetti has it, though. Got to reposition myself. Nate Schmidt goes for a point shot, and Kyler... Getting in the way of that one. He's going for the good old-fashioned dump and change. What a hockey play. They are playing so good right now. Their passing is on what our level was when this period first started. McDavid trying to do a little bit too much by himself there. But to his credit, he probably could. Okay. Here come the Jets again. Five minutes to go. 3-3 hockey game. And... Ooh, Perfetti. Blocker save. Puck's in the corner. Come on, help him out. Nice. Not nice. Not nice at all. Wheeler with it, and he's going to cough it up to a pool party. Who is in? Over the blue line. Here we go, Yessi. Oh, yeah? Come on, win that battle. Oh, Wheeler. He's good at those. He is good at those. Credit where credit's due. Perfetti's going to rip one. I 
should not have passed that out. That would have been another... Was it Stamkos that did it to me in the other Be A Pro? Where he just kind of instantly grabbed it and put it in when he was standing in front of me? Maybe it was. I can't remember for sure. Oh, nice passing play. Two and a half to go. I would prefer if we avoided overtime. But, you know, that is, that's just me. If you guys are thinking overtime, maybe I'll, I'll make do. Here comes Pavelski. He's in. He has a clear lane for some reason. They just open right up. There's a couple saves. I No, smothering it. Absolutely not. Get out of my face, Marcus. We're down to the final minute now. And we have ourselves quite the hockey game here. 3-3. Three, three. There has been a total of four goals scored now in the third period alone. Three of which were by your Edmonton Oilers. And one of which was by Jesse's Winnipeg Jets. Shifley in the middle to Morrissey. That was a clean breakout from the Jets right there. Kyle Connor's going to lose it. I don't like this, guys. I do not like this. Oh, my word. Wow, that was a bad shot. If that went in, dude, I would have been so mad. All right, let's... Okay, I changed my mind. Let's get it to overtime. I'll take one point. Three seconds to go. And it looks like we are safe and sound for one point. We are definitely out shooting them, though. So, yeah, if we get a goal in this overtime, then, I mean, you know, we're, we're pretty much the same. The goalies are about the same. So, why don't they just let us score? And... We're both happy. We get two points. I get to say, hey, coach, I did that silly little thing you asked for me. And then the goalies both have good stats. We get two points. You get one. It's a win-win. I don't see the problem here. Just let us score. It's that simple. Oh, yeah? Drysaddle goes for the pass. What a save by Hellebuck. I thought that was going to be it, to be honest. And then that goes in. Wow. All right. Hellebuck does not have the best blocker, apparently. Because there was a few shots there that should have been saved. And simply were not. But I'll take the 900 save percentage. Oh, thank you. Finish the game. What is up, James? I'm introducing you a little bit early here. But feel free to jump in whenever you're ready. Hey, no shortage of action and drama on no, the ice tonight. there was not Let's shortage at, at all. Elsewhere. The Jets were looking to steal two Look at that. Spoilers. It's beautiful. Edmonton pops in the OT winner and skate off. Coach is going to be gassed. The Predators went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Blue Mr. Jackets. Mr. Pratt. Columbus toughs one out and pick up the win. The Sharks had their hands full oh, yeah? the Coyotes. San Jose I didn't miss a, a beat. shutout in an impressive defensive display. Oh, good for you, San Jose. Really proud of you. On the show and we'll do that next. All right. Well, that went well. <laughs> that went better than expected. How many? We're at, past the trade deadline, so we got to be getting there, man. We're almost at the playoffs again. And speaking of the... San Jose Sharks. There we go. We're up against San Jose. So let's sim this one. See if it is worth jumping into or not. First period. Mm-hmm. Second. Okay. I am a fan of that. Yeah, let's jump in. I think what TJ needs is just a little bit of a little bit of consistency, you know? Some games we're on fire. And some games we are poo. But if we could just be a little bit more consistent, then. I think that would improve our stats and just overall everything by quite a bit. What a hit. Holy crap, that was huge. Surprised he's not injured, to be honest. Wow, they're just running our guys right now. It's a physical one. Look at this. Unbelievable. You guys better stand up for yourselves out there. EK65, going to hand it off to Couture. Over to LeBanc. Oh, no. He actually got in the middle. And that is a glove stop, if I've ever seen one. Nice try, though, lads. Timo gets it to Kutcher, and that will be put in the glove. I tried to pass that out, but it did not let me. Which I'm not super upset about. Because could have ended poorly. But I am a little salty, because I guess I could have got team play. So, yeah, it's sort of bittersweet. Anyway, Vlasic. Did I get a piece of that? It rumbled, so I felt like maybe I did. But regardless, uh, they didn't get a goal. So, not uh, going to worry Holy crap, dude. Those backhands, for some reason, are just, like, they throw me off so much. Merkley goes down low. I got it with the glove again. What happened there? <laughs> that was odd. I thought he was taking a delay game. That would have been hilarious. And if that was not offside, wow, that would have been elite. But luckily for us, it was offside. All right. Well, the boys are playing pretty good so far. I like it. Edmonton Oilers off to... Another solid third period here. 
Not as solid as the Winnipeg Jets game, but still playing good. Ennis, oh, he's going to lose it, but he gets tripped in the process. Power play, Ferda. Let's go. What a pass. Stupendous shot by Radulov. And that will give us the world-famous insurance marker. 22nd goal of the year, too. Not bad. Considering I think he's on the third line. Yeah, he just sent that home. Beautiful goal. Let's go, Oilers. They're taking another penalty? Wow. All right, this took a turn quick. Intro fence for Mario. And we have ourselves two minutes of a man advantage. But let's see if it gets that far again. If we have a power play like we did last time, I don't think it will. Stetcher. Wow, he could have had an easy shot there, but it wasn't a guaranteed goal. Now was it? So he didn't shoot. Unreal. That is just classic NHL 09 to 14 right there. Actually, 15 was like that too. McDavid gets his own rebound. He took a little long there, but he still buried it. And that gives us a three goal lead now. The boys are in charge here. What a goal by Connor McDubstep. Leo's like, oh yeah? And he passes it. And boom. What a goal. <laughs> oh my word. LeBanc just got destroyed. That was next level. The fact that he's skating right now is a miracle. And then he gets dropped again. This guy's just getting bullied out here. Alright, well, what are those fans doing in the background? Oh, it's supposed to be like... Sh okay. It's supposed to be like a shark, but man... <laughs> I was like, hello? Are they broken or... Only an 897 save percentage. What a joke. That's okay. Hellebuck only had like a 906, which, you know, not much better. And he's like, what, 90 overall? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! <laughs> wow. You just got robbed, my friend. Honestly, call the police because <laughs> everything you own is now gone. Takes a clappy. Okay, I see you. That's a save, though. Donato battling for it. And he comes out with it. Shot attempt. Won't get through the 80 people that he tried to get it through. And down the ice she goes. 50 seconds remaining on this one. This will kill a decent chunk of time as well. But they are back quick. Quicker than I expected them to be. Donato tried to take a shot, but again, the defense said no. Not today. That could do it if we get it down here. But instead, we're going to pass it. All right. I mean, we still got it down the ice, but that was a bit risky. Balsers. Ooh. Try to go five hole with that. Cheeky, cheeky. But the save was made. I, For some reason, I thought we were still only up by one goal. But no, we have a three goal lead right now. We are sitting pretty, my friends. So I don't have to worry too much. But I do want some good stats. You know, I don't know how many shots they had coming into this period. I either didn't read it or don't remember. One of the two. But, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. They have gotten a few in this third period already. So, I think the save percentage should be all right if I keep that biscuit out of the cage. No, they managed to keep it in. Wow, we are swarming them. We're not letting them generate anything. There was literally three Oilers absolutely swarming the puck. And I'm here for it. I'm all about it, you know? If it's going to stop the Sharkies from getting any... Real good opportunities, then do what you gotta do. Let's go. I have no idea what their goalie was doing. Absolutely no clue. But he was out of position big time. He pulled his best Tino Manny impression here. Nice pass. And then, yeah, goalie was nowhere to be found. The flex on the twig. And that is in the net. Sorokin. Questionable, my friend. Okay, let's chill out. Let's chill out. Sharks are, you know, trying to get one here, clearly. No! Don't you dare, don't you dare. Ooh, last time I saw that save animation, Leon Dreisaitl had other plans. But, thankfully, didn't have the same intentions this time around. The bank tries to sneak past, but he will not succeed. Alright, three minutes to go. We have a four-goal lead now. And they put Jimbo in net. Jim Reimer. James, if you will. So, that is not good for Sorokin. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me get that. And please. Oh, I thought he was going to pretty much give up. Oh, no. He coughed it up, though. But, you know, that, that won't be against me, thankfully. Let's go. Let's go. Goligoski, you got this. No. Maybe. 
Yeah, there you go, Deno. Ooh, that was risky business. All right, Ennis makes up. What, what are we doing here, guys? What are we doing exactly? Could could you let me in on your planning sessions, your little strategy meetings? Because clearly I'm unaware of something. Big save again. Reedy? Is that that guy's name? Looks like it. Anyway, he's battling for it big time. But the Oilers are gonna win. We're winning the battle and the war right now, my friend. Okay, Balsers, he's in. That is saved, and I am not sending that out. 30 seconds remain, and the Sharks are hungry. They are looking for one here just to, you know, make, make the goal differential not as substantial as it currently is. But I'm going to do my best to prevent them from scoring here. Balser... <laughs> I mean, I don't have to try very hard if you're doing stuff like that, but we did just give them a power play. Can the fans just not do that, please? That would be phenomenal. Like, what is, what is going on? What is this smoke screen? Send the puck down the ice and it's over. Nice, there we go. A solid third period for <laughs> A solid what now? A who? Wait, okay, well, we just got a penalty against San Jose, but it's definitely over. This game is completed. 2.4 seconds remaining. They win the draw. It really doesn't matter, though. Let's see how many shots they had. I'm curious. And boom. 33. Good stuff. All right. Let's get out of here. What have you got to say, James? you have anything nice to say? Don't say it at all. How does that sound? But I feel like it's not going to be anything about me. Never mind. Oh. Not a big deal. By a rookie in a single season. Not a big deal. So there's a little bragging rights for what has been a it's very beautiful. productive season for him in his freshman campaign here in the National Strudwick. Hockey League. All right, still to come, we'll get to the phones. We'll also get Thank you for that, James. Thank you. And a little bit of, you know, well, some tire fun, pumping. Some drama, a little bit of everything on the ice tonight. Let's take it's okay the by me. The, the, the Oilers faced off with the Sharks. Edmonton mm -hmm. pops like popcorn sure did. in this one, and they skate away with the win. I can go for the some Sabres popcorn right took now. To the road to match up with the Devils. We're fifth. Buffalo turned we moved up. up. In this one and what a glow up. Pick up the win. The We're not in. had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Maple Leafs. Toronto picks up the extra point in what the skills mad competition for? and the victory. I'm not in. Take a quick pause for the cause, but we got to play them back to back. The other side. Stay with us. Um, so what's going on here? I don't get it. It just said, hey, you're going up against Calgary. It's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Didn't let me jump in unless, like I said, we play them back to back, which is a real possibility. We don't. All right, Seattle crack and in this. We got to get four games under our belt. In fact, you know what? I might just finish the season. Okay, nice, solid game. Three stars, and there you have it. Ilya Mikheyev, Superman, on the Seattle crack. Let's continue and see how many games we have left in the season. So if we don't have a whole lot left, then uh, hmm. No, nah, we'll have one more episode of the season. I think we need it. A bit more warming up and whatnot. Before we actually jump into the lofts. Assuming we're even the starting goalie. Which I'm thinking we probably will be. Because we've been the starting goalie all year. 1-1. One, 2-1. One, one, and 3-3. Three, three. Okay. No, that's lame. Whatever. Got a point out of it. Three stars. There you have it. And continue. Okay. Sim to next game. That is two simulation games now. One against the Nucks. One against the Kraken. Sim this one. We are not in for it. We took an L. All right, we're not in against the Kings here either. Apparently, I'm not the starting goalie. And was that another L? Pretty sure it was. It wasn't a W. Might have been overtime, but it certainly was not a dub. Okay, let's sim this game against Chicago. Maybe we will just finish the season. We're going to get pretty close. There might not even be enough games left for uh, another video. Okay, and overtime loss, sadly. That's okay. Still played pretty solid. We get a point out of it. Vanacek played well. Let's get out of there. Sim to the next one. We have a conversation with McDusty. What do you want, sir? What's going on in McDusty land? The Windy City has some great parks. Sure, let's go. Why not? Persuade. What am I persuading you for? I, don't, I didn't... Okay, that was my, literally my only option. Whatever. It is what it is. At least management's gassed up about me again. 
Look at that. Management is loving me recently. What about team? Because I need that. Okay, we're set. Needs to be at 2,000 by the end of the year. And I think we've got that on lock. All right, we're in against the mini wild here. They are 13th in the league. We are 9th. It seems like we haven't won in a while. That's a good start. Well, okay. Yes. What a third period. Fire me vertical. And a W. Three stars. Bada boom, bada bing. Continue. How many games are actually left? I don't think we're going to have enough for another video. So I might as well just jump to the playoffs, it seems like. Eighth in the What's league right now. The line tonight going into this one here. A chance to claim a divisional title. Oh, and if we win this, we get the division? The coaching staff look to the Star. Young puck stopper who has been good this year. Act but out. <laughs> We need you, and we need you to play lights out tonight if we want to accomplish a major Easy milestone peasy. for this franchise and get that divisional title. Easy. Let's see how the young puck PZ. stopper responds to I'm the Canadian, challenge. So. Both Ray and I will have the call for you, and it goes down tonight. Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. Okay, here we go. Anaheim. Let's see if we can take a dub here. First period. Nice. Second. Yes. Yes, boys. Let's go. We've done it. Three stars. There you have it. I had a 900 save percentage in that one too. Not a big deal. Just saying. What can you say? It's all courtesy, at least in my opinion, of a brilliant performance from a brilliant young talent. Come on. Oh, I guess. Sorry, sorry, James. I didn't mean to skip that one. Show Ray Ferraro joins us here to finish up strong. How are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm looking forward to the end of the year. It's been a long year, and we're getting into the oh wow part of the season now. Yeah, definitely don't have enough for another video. Second season, and there's also votes that have to be in for awards. We were talking about a few of these. Let's just simmer. I think he won't shut up until after. The Calder. Fair to say, we can rule out the young goaltender here, right? That's. That's kind of an easy one. His season kind of fell apart a little bit on him. And, fell uh, apart? I don't think that has anything to do with what I think he might be in the future. I think he's got a, a good career in front of him, but this year he didn't play. Watch what you're saying there. Keep him in this Calder Trophy conversation. No, and especially when you look at some of the other rookies and what they've done. I mean, there's been some dynamic performances throughout the season. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Oh, yeah? Last game of the season. Busy night of action yes, that's a dub, though. A it's a dub. Three stars. There the you go. The Skip James. He has had enough spotlight in this one. Regular to the youngster between the pipes. Way to spoil it, James. It down again. I'm almost like a broken record. 40 you are a broken record. You're not like a broken record. You are one. Remarkable achievement. Doesn't hurt having a pretty good team in front of him. But still, 40. Nice robust. What's up, coach? I'm starting, right? And as we head into this playoff yep. series, how about the announcement from the coaching staff opting to go with the rookie Same in goal? Same voice clip. Name the starter. They're going with the kid. When this playoff series gets underway, I like the They're call. going with Trevor Kidd? I don't mind it. You know, the future is now is the message, and they're going to go with the kid. Hopefully, youthful energy is going to be a difference maker in this series. Do you oh, like storyline all day? Let's hear from you. We've got a lot of people. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Divisional champions. And that is the first time that he has helped contribute to a banner that will hang in this home arena. Right? He was part of that. You know, all the history, when you show up to an arena and you see all that stuff for the first time, when you join a franchise and you oh, hope yeah. to be part of that, he's now officially part of team history. Right? where he'll be part of having that banner. I don't, I don't know if the banners, uh, you know, 129 the points means as much as it did to me. Uh, generationally so they're going to get swept ago, in the first round, basically. But he is still a part of this club's history now. And that banner will be hanging up high in the rafters come next. Solid season. performances All right, from the kids. Other stories I want to get to around the league, right? I don't think I got 900 literally just because of that last game, but... McDavid's point of game. Dreisaitl is pretty much point of game. Nuge is right there as well. Pool party at 55. The lads played well. I'll just kind of go through here and I'll show you the entire league as well. Uh, Goaltender. So we had an 898. We were so close. 902 from Pavel. Uh, 14, 12, and 2. And we should have another X Factor slash ability next year, which might help our Sim. And we'll be up in overall. So next year we're going to be insane. I'm hoping anyway. And. Uh, yeah, let's check out the entire league, shall we? I had 30 wins on the year. It's probably not going to get me on the uh, first page here. Nope. That's okay. Vasilevsky with a 934. That is sickening. A 192, 934. That is 
actually illegal. Let's go to defenseman. Show you the defense quick. So Kale McCarr with 75 points on the year. Uh, Fox 68, Latang 66. There you go. And four forwards. Boom. We got Stamkos with 104. Cooch 100. Uh, Patrick Kane 94. Marchand 88. Goudreau 88. And there you go. McDavid and Drysaddle right there. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, playoffs. It is playoff time. This is going to be our first time actually playing playoff games because we only got into year two so far. And in year one, we weren't the goalie. And we got eliminated in the first round, I believe. So let's do this thing. I can't wait. I'll see you guys then.